Okay, you're welcome back to this unique platform, Win TV Two Four Seven, on the social media, and it's about local content promotion in our dear country. We have major player in this particular sector, and today is the engineering part of it. Sir, please do us the honor of introducing yourself. The camera is watching. Okay. Um, well, I am um, engineer Vincent Udoye. Right, sir. I am the acting director, Maritime Safety and Seafarer Standards. Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Angels in Nimasa. Sir, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very Sir, much. Sir, your industry, we've, we've seen the trend, the growth in the last few years. There is a change, there is a revolution, there is the bunking of corruption and the rest. And today, the Nigerian Society of Engineers are inviting you to an annual lecture. What's going on in your mind as you're here? As a matter of fact, I was very excited when I was invited to this program because um, I know that uh, the place of the engineer yes, in Nigerian society cannot be overemphasized. As a matter of fact, in the entire world, yeah. I can say that God created the living things. All other things were made by engineers. Wow. This morning <laughs> as I was coming to work, the car I drove was made by engineers. The road on which I drove it on was made by engineers. The hotel we are today built by engineers. Even the microphone you have in your hand built by engineers. This is good. So everything that breathes was made by God. All other things were made by engineers. And that is why I came here to honor the Society of Engineers in Nigeria and to be a part of it. Because I believe that together there is still so much we can do. Yeah. Okay. That's very nice. Thank you, sir. Lastly, <laughs> local content promotion in Nigeria. Do you think we're on the right path? If not, let's hear your recommendation. Well, definitely, um, I believe we're on the right path, and uh, it's about time, too, because um, I had the privilege of having worked abroad, and I realized that you don't get a privilege just because you're a Nigerian. Okay. Others are favored. They are given the plum jobs, and you are given the leftovers. Hmm. And so with these same people, when they come into Nigeria, we give them the plum jobs, and our people are given the leftovers. It shouldn't be like that. So I am strongly, you know, in support of emphasizing local content. This administration is pushing for it. Nimasa is pushing for it. Even in the shipping industry, we are pushing for local content. Our crew members, our engineers should be able to man and participate in the business, the maritime business generated by Nigeria. Wow. Because we have an advantage here. This is our country. Yeah. Wherever else we go, we don't have any advantage. We are there visitors. Hmm. So we must emphasize local content. And we must start to see the benefits of not just talking about it, okay. but doing it. Wow. And seeing that it's yielding results in the life of our people. So I want to allow you to go inside. But before you go, please, the local organizing committee that put this together. You've not gone inside. But we know you've, you've registered. That tells a story. What are your words for them, the organizers of this event? Well... My words for them is that they should sustain this because um, we are used to starting things and we don't finish it. Hmm. When I was invited, I said, I hope it is going to be sustained okay. on an ongoing basis. Okay. So we can begin to explore synergies where we can come together, partnerships, so that we can begin to affect this country. Right, there is no point working individually when we cannot, we, we are looking for the funds, the finance, okay. you know, to finance projects. We can come together and pull our resources together and synergize. So this project should be sustained and it should be on and it should reach the grassroots hmm. because not just here in Lagos. Yeah. We have people outside That's Lagos it. in all the states of Nigeria. Yeah. We have engineers there. Okay. Let us also reach out to these people. All right. You know, they say knowledge is not uh, an exclusive preserve of those who are educated. Hmm. Okay? There are other people outside engineering that we may need to synergize with. Wow to help us to bring out the best in engineering. So thank you very much. You just had it now. Our viewers from Asia, Europe, America, and the continent of Africa here in Lagos, Nigeria, were saying to you, the transformation is up. The Maritime Academy is actually part of this process, and the Society of Engineers are setting the pace. Well, first, let me congratulate the uh, marine engineers and naval architects, you know, for this wonderful event that they've organized in the Rockview Hotel today, Friday. The way forward has been amply stressed during the uh, lecture presentation that first of all we needed to have a sea lift capacity, capability as a nation to expand the maritime fleet that would provide the platform, the opportunity for uh, the cadet, the marine engineers, the naval architects to be on board vessels, to have practical experience and we've also seen that a lot needs to be done 
in the academia, as we've seen by the elaborate presentation by the distinguished professor. You know, uh, we have power city depth of expertise. Professors, we have only about one or two professors in some of the universities mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. So we need to build competence in the academia. We also need to expand opportunities for Nigeria to, you know, participate in international shipping in yes. addition to the cabotage shipping so that you can have the platform for uh, for all these trainees to be on board vessels. Right. Exactly. A miracle, in German. I'm a fellow of the Nigeria Society of Engineers. I'm also a fellow of the Royal Institution of Naval Architects and member of uh, International Institution Marine Surveyors. I'm the Chief of Naval Engineering at the Naval Headquarters in Abuja. Uh, it's a, a great pleasure to be part of this uh, conference. For those who care to know, the maritime sector in this country is a virgin. No one has touched it yet. And there is ample opportunities for everyone. For us to be able to tap into the enormous resources therein and business opportunities, we must train, create opportunities for those trained to acquire the needed experience, exposure and synergize effort. And uh, I, I think that is one of the things that uh, this conference has brought about. My name is uh, Chibuzo Christopher Aja. Okay. I'm a student of Marine Engineering Department of uh, Federal School of Oceanography. And by God's grace, I'm the president of the Marine Engineering Students Association. Wow, it's a pleasure. Ford. Thank you, sir. Mesa. It's a pleasure to have you here. Let's have you tell us. The invitation came to your school, of course. Yes. And how does it feel being here today? Well, we feel great coming to this place. We feel peculiar. We feel among, anyway. Okay, that's good. Cool. We feel among. Okay. We feel remembered. Because the letter came unexpectedly. We had less than four days to plan for this visit. Wow. And by God's grace, we were able to make it here. Let's say you talk to the organizers. What are you saying to them for bringing this to the fore? Yes, it's, it's, I, I can say it's awesome. And it makes students... In our, own, in our own cadre to be, you know, expectant of much more greater things. Okay. Like, you know, as students, we are being invited to sit amongst the practitioners men <laughs> and people that are already established in the industry. industry. And so we feel so, so. I also want to thank the management of uh, Federal College of Fisheries and Marine Technology and the Institute of Oceanography and Marine Research, okay. IOMA, for because the letter went to them first. Is a research institute, so the letter was later forwarded to us. Okay. The the college. All right. So I it was it was very peaceful and easy for us to get the uh, deputy provost academics. Okay. And the acting register of the college to approve Prova. our visit to wow. this place. Wow, this is cool. Yes. Thank you very much for that. I'm Engineer Kinyalanyo, fellow of Nigerian Society of Engineers. Pleasure, sir. And I used to be the chairman of uh, the division. The pioneer. Wow. Pioneer chairman. But this is interesting, sir. Let's get to meet you. Yes, my name is uh, Engineer UB Ajala. I'm a commodore in the Nigerian Navy. Uh, my background is mechanical engineering and then master's in naval architecture. I'm a member MENA and currently the general manager of production at Naval Dockyard. Sir, thank you very much. Sir, what you said inside, it shows that your organization is really aligning with the public-private partnership that the present day government is talking about. Tell us the doors that are open in your own organization to build and bring up this particular sector in our country? Yes, like we've said, the dockyard is now a limited liability company, which means less uh, bureaucracy in terms of doing jobs and uh, taking decisions. Okay, sir. In which case now, ships can be taken in with minimal uh, interference from outside. Similarly too, we can offer training for, uh, assistance to the upcoming uh, engineers. Yes, so we are calling everybody who is ready to, you know, come on board in terms of maritime uh, development to come on board and uh, partner with Dockyard. This is the time. Thank you very much. I would right. like to go and have you. Meanwhile, we'll talk to your brother and a friend. Uh, <laughs> Sir, let's have, you, let's have you give the gaps, recommendations and the way forward from your perspective. Ah, well, the future is bright. It's apparent. It's uh, a matter of development. And the engineering field, they've decided to come up and um, uh, do something for a great nation. There's too much, too much potential in our industry, but largely uh, as it affects uh, the, uh, the development of uh, shipping activities in the littoral states, particularly, and even up country where there's waterways, where there are waterways which you could develop. You see, it's 
it's unfortunate that we haven't paid emphasis on a lot of things in the past. But really, the industry is the vein which the blood, you know, of growth passes, and we must develop it. My name is uh, Engineer Henry Unuigbe, MNSC. I am the General Secretary of uh, MENA, which is a division of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. I am a proud member of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Marine Engineering and Naval Architecture Division. I'm a proud member of Nigerian Society of Engineers. I'm a proud member of Nigerian Society of Engineers, MENA Division. My name is Afolari Adeyemi Jayala. I belong to Nigerian Society of Engineers. But I'm a proud member of the MENA division. To say the fact, I'm a proud student member of Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSA. My name is Engineer Professor Kelvin Bob Manuel. As the pioneers of MENA NSC, I'm very proud. I am really proud that I'm a member. I bring greetings from the President, Engineer Mustafa Barabi Sheru of NSC, who would have loved to be here. But as you're aware, the NSC is such a huge organization. At any time, there are too many things going on. He has caused a lot of regard to this elite division. But he said the least he will do for this division is to send his deputy, who is also smelling the presidency. So you. Thank you very much.